Hello, my name is Dr. Tina Mitter. I am a dermatologist and the founder of cosmetic brand Mitter Beauty Science and uh, I will speak about some question of sensitivity of the skin and how to recognize the sensitivity, how to understand the sensitivity of the skin using the special dermatological scale. So, our first and main question, how sensitive is your skin? How sensitive is the skin of your customers, of your patients? Speaking about the sensitivity, we are speaking mostly about some kind of subjective feelings, not about some objective change in the structure of the skin, because we don't find any significant change in the structure. But we feel a lot of things, tingling and prickling and heat and burning and pain and itching and skin became red, what we call Irritema. So, speaking easily, a uh, sensitive skin, it is a very uncomfortable skin condition. Even if that not express itself like some of dermatoses, like psoriasis or neurodermitis, it makes people suffer. So, that's a good reason why we need to treat it and treat it with some attention. Terminology of sensitivity of the skin is very confusing. In some articles and some published work, you can see the term sensitive. Sometimes it's used as a reactive or hyperreactive or irritable or fragile or intolerable, but that's all the same. That's sensitive. And now uh, the term sensitive is prevalent. When we are speaking about the sensitivity of the skin, that's always the question. What is the cause of the sensitivity? And that's a lot of discussion about it. And very probably that's genetic, so we cannot change it very much. But another thing that's a lot of external factors which can provoke the manifestation of sensitivity of the skin. And if you are out of this different kind of external condition, if everything is beneficial, if you are living in ideal world, uh, maybe you will never notice that your skin is sensitive. But if your skin is affected by ultraviolet or by some kind of extreme temperature like heat or cold, sometimes it can be the wind or other climate changes, and that can be stress, obviously, that can be hormonal change like menstrual cycle change happening mostly, that can be pregnancy and a lot of pregnant women expressing some concern about sensitivity of their skin. That can be menopause, that can be puberty and another things and even some kind of uh, medical treatment. Also that the stress, when we are under the stress, our skin is reacting and became more sensitive and also that's an air pollution. And when you are living in some air polluted big megapolises, unfortunately, air pollution is affecting your skin because it's toxic, that's a lot of microparticles affecting the barrier, damaging the skin barrier. So that's a good chance your skin will be more sensitive, the skin of your twin sister living in the countryside. And another big part of the sensitivity of the skin of causing factors, it is a cosmetic use, including soap use, obviously. Now we are coming to the point and we are speaking about the use of special dermatological, cosmeceutical or cosmetical cleanser for the skin with adapted pH because classic soap that's very alkaline and this contact with alkaline substances 
damage the skin barrier and make your skin more sensitive. But also cosmetic use, and now in the whole world we are noticing more and more of different um, discussion about the skin sensitivity and a lot of dermatologists are uh, noticing now the increase of frequency uh, of sensitive skin and why it's happening one of hypotheses then people are using a lot of aggressive substances a lot of chemical substances and a lot of cosmetic products it can be aggressive to the skin. For example, retinol, that's such a fantastic ingredient, very effective and very good when it's used for the age-related change treatment or pigmentation treatment or acne treatment. But a lot of people that are using retinol-based product on a daily basis just with some idea of prevention of something and retinol is one of side effects of retinol that makes the skin sensitive, that irritates the skin. So that's a big part of uh, the problem now in the whole world. Is it just the face? That sensitive skin, a lot of people are thinking then yes, and even a lot of beauty bloggers and beauty editors, they are concentrating on the facial and they are treating the face skin with some kind of special sensitive skin care, and but that's not the only thing. If the skin is truly genuinely sensitive that affecting not only the face but another part of the body including hands, including scalp and even including genitals. And skin can be dry, can be irritated and so if you notice some change of sensitivity of the skin and the face it's a good idea to ask about another problem, to pay more attention for another part of the body and probably to change some growth of the skincare for this person. Why the stress is affecting our skin so much? I love this quotation quote from uh, Professor Laurent Misery. He is the biggest authority, uh, world recognized authority in the sensitivity skin problem. He is based in the Lyon University in France and once 20 years ago he, um, he told in the conference skin and brain are embryological siblings like twins missing each other and skin is the peripheral external reflection of the nervous system. So the skin is literally the part of the nervous system that was the same in the embryo period and only on the eighth weeks of the embryo development of the fetus development this part of the embryo just split up for the skin and nervous system that's called ectoderm and that's creating the skin covering the little body and in the same time it's grow up like a tree inside of the body, formed in the nervous system. So, literally, embryologically speaking, it is one organ, which we are calling in our adult life, skin and nervous system. But they are linked really closely. So, we can see the skin as a part of the nervous system. And look how complex the skin is. Every millimeter of the skin is threaded with fibers, with receptors, with different kind of nervous system structures. And nervous system, it's really it's a big conductor of the skin life. Nervous system can change anatomy of the skin structure. Uh, skin shares the same language with nervous system, same biochemical language. They are using absolutely the same substances for cell communication, for cell mediation. And 
nervous system controls all cells function immunity renewal pigmentation everything is controlled by nervous system it's not the skin it's not such thing as skin itself it's much more complex so stress affecting our nervous system is always affecting our skin and sensitivity it's one of the reflection one of symptoms is it dangerous that's a good question too no not really but it has a strong effect on our life and that has a very strong effect on our emotional life and on our comfort and finally on our health too and now like a conclusion i would like that you are thinking about it and sensitivity is linked to the nervous system rather than to the skin itself and it's very likely to be genetic so we are speaking about the manifestation and prevention of manifestation of the skin why it's so important because when it's genetic when it's linked to the nervous system we cannot offer some kind of so-called treatment we can control it we can manage the sensitivity but that's not like an illness which we can treat once for all no that's a genetic condition that's some proof of diversity of people some people has a sensitive skin and some people has a resistant skin which we can call normal but what is norm that's like a unicorn so the big question sensitive or resistant how to understand it to understand it all we are using the very special skin sensitivity scale offered to us by same professor Laurent misery the scale called sss 10 and this scale is used largely by dermatologists to diagnose the skin sensitivity it's uh, provide us with some kind of objectivity so how it works look at this very easy so we have 10 questions all you need you need to ask your patients or yourself if you are looking to understand your skin sensitivity if in the last three days have you noticed any of the following sensations and please score it on the scale of 0 to 10 where the 0 is nothing no i didn't feel it at all in the last three days and then yes that was painful that was difficult that just made my life different and everything in between from one to nine so up to you please ask you this question or ask your patient so first one did you have you noticed the skin irritability stinging sensation burning sensation of heat tautness itching pain general discomfort redness or flush so easy and you just summarize results and take a sum what we are doing after that's scores so if the summary of your answers of your scores give you some numbers up to 10 so no worries your skin is resistant and there's no need for special treatment you can use different kind of cosmetic products you can go for almost any kind of cosmetic treatment if you need it and the risk is really minimal to damage your skin and to make your skin uh, more sensitive if the scores are 20 to 60 so bad news the skin is sensitive good news 
That's a sensitive skin care, which is recommended to use in this case. The, uh, um, if uh, you are diagnosed with the sensitivity of the skin, that doesn't mean it is forever not. We can control it, we can manage it, but at least two or three months after this diagnosis, it's highly recommended to use some special sensitive skin care, and I will speak a little bit later about middle beauty sensitive skin care. If you score uh, over 60, so we're speaking about the medical conditions, and most probably you are suffering with psoriasis or neurodermitis or eczema or something else. So you need to use sensitive skin care and to have a consultation of a dermatologist. That's a wise solution. So what we are offering for sensitive skin care in Meader Beauty Science, that's four products. First one called Net Apex Cleanser with prebiotic, special calming cleanser solution for the sensitive skin. Second one, it's a special serum based on Centella Asiatica extract called Suana Pax or SA. We are using a lot of abbreviator to make your life more easy. So serum Apex, that's SA serum number three, that's the number of application. Also, we are having intense treatment based on the concentrate called red apox, so that's calm down redness immediately, that contains prebiotics, probiotics, and a very special mushroom extract. And also the special mask called red apox as well, calming anti-redness mask. How it works? Just coming back. So, the first duo, that's prebiotic cleanser and the serum Apax calming serum that contains prebiotics and plant extracts such as Centella Asiatica with famous anti-inflammatory and calming properties and also Malva Silvestris extract which provide us with anti-inflammatory action and calm down the skin very effectively. Next product it's a concentrate red apax, the abbreviator that's 4RA, contains prebiotics, probiotics, the very special northern truffle extract, that's a Norwegian uh, mushroom uh, painkiller and used in the traditional northern medicine as a topical painkiller for thousands of years. And this blocks the special skin receptors called TRPV1, uh, the pain receptors and heat receptors, and so blocking these receptors, we are interacting with nervous system, so we can calm down the skin in a few minutes after the first application. And also we are using the Yakun extract as a prebiotic and lactobacillus as a probiotic, so we restore the microbiome, and in the same time, we calm down the skin interacting with nervous system. And finally, the last but not least, our famous probi probiotics, sake-based red apax mask. The main part of the mask, that's a gel based on the Japanese sake, working as a probiotic, calming down redness and all kind of discomfort. Also, this mask is rich of panthenol, vitamin B5, restoring vitamin, same centella asiatica extract, marigold, chamomile, and special peptide, skin essential, anti-allergic peptide with calming antihistamine action. Also, we are using hyaluronic acid, and glycerin to moisturize the skin and the tissue of the mask that's golden bamboo fibers, very natural, very elastic, which covers the skin very comfortably. So, how we do it? First thing first, you need to be realist. So, let's see. If you see some image 
like this, if you see the face like this, red with some kind of inflammation, uh, flush prone, redness prone, that's a good idea to use cosmeceuticals, to use our Miller Beauty Science product that will be very effective, that will be safe. But if you see some kind of severe dermatological condition, look at this, rhinophema or ocular form of rosacea or severe rosacea or some kind of severe inflammatory disease, please be wise and remember then cosmeceutical treatment cannot be only treatment in this case. You can recommend to use some kind of cosmeceutical products, for example, Redapax concentrate or Serumapax or Redapax mask. But the key point, all these people need to see a dermatologist and to get some real medication to get some dermatological treatment. But in all the rest, we are treating the sensitive skin, red skin, and even rosacea skin very effectively. Look on some before and after cases. This one, thanks to our middle national trainer from Russia, Oli Melne, that's only one facial treatment before and after with red apax professional treatment and you see the difference in the 45 minutes. Another one, thanks to another national trainer, also one red apax treatment before and after. You see how the skin is calmed down in minutes. That take about 40-45 minutes, not more. Also another Meader's beauty science uh, experts from Belgium or from Latvia. Uh, that's also, that's uh, at left, you can see the clinical case of rosacea treated in a three weeks time with professional Redapax treatment and with our home care. So Netapax cleanser, serum apax serum and concentrate and mask as a whole home complex and you see in a three weeks time uh, the skin became much more healthy and obviously patients is much more happier and this is perioral dermatitis also in a couple of weeks great results with use of redapax professional treatment and all our range of the special Midder Beauty Science home skin care. Thank you very much for your attention. Hopefully you will use sensitivity skin scale on the daily basis in your practice and uh, I'm happy to help you with some kind of hopefully new knowledge. So see you in my next short lecture. If you have any question, please send to you national trainers or uh, to our website and our trainers team will be happy to help. Thank you and bye.